All right, are you ready? I'm ready. We're speeding, or whatever Trace says. We're speeding. Five, four, three, two. <laughs> when it comes to gasoline engines, there are a few that can hold up to the legendary, the, the legacy, if you will, of the LS 5.3. I mean, after all, my buddy Grant had one in high school, and if it can survive his crazy ass, then the 5.3 is basically bullet. Like, I remember one time we ran his 01 Silverado on literally a single quart of oil. Now, for the record, if you're not familiar, that's a six quart system, so, you know, we were a little bit on the low side of where we needed to be on that one by about five quarts. Not only are these engines bulletproof though, they're extremely popular with pretty much every culture in the automotive industry. Drag guys, drift guys, truck guys, daily driver guys, hell even the show truck and classic truck guys love these engines for their simplicity, their reliability, and better yet how easy it is to make power with them. Let's say you have a 5.3 though and you want to make some power, where would you start? How do you dive headfirst into this stuff? I'm Dust with the Custom Offsets, you guys can follow me on Instagram at dusty.co and today's video is all about the best performance mods for your 5.3 liter Vortec. Let's get into it. Now I know what some of you guys are going to say, right? Just slap an eBay turbo on it and go to town, bud. Listen, I hear you. I do, and yes, while that works, there are a few better ways to make some power with your truck. We're gonna start with some super basics here, right? The easy to install, if you would, and then work our way up from there, all of which are all readily available at customoffsets.com, by the way, you know, all the simple bolt-on stuff, we have those for you. If you're pretty experienced in this world though, then you know, you're gonna wanna stay tuned because in just a second here, we're actually gonna be chatting about some pretty incredible stuff and you're probably not gonna wanna miss it. It's it's spicy. It's, it's very spicy. It's good spicy. Oh, time for spicy meat. <laughs> yeah, boy. So first things first, and I don't want to spend a ton of time here, right? Because we've talked about this one a lot, but it's going to be your basic bolt-ons. We're talking things like intakes and exhausts and a plug-in flash tuner are all easy, relatively cheap wins that you can do to gain a few extra horsepower. Plus, let's be honest here, the 5.3 Vortec is one of the best sounding gasoline engines ever produced ever to exist when it has the proper exhaust setup. Don't be confused with the guys like Banker over here who just, you know, hack off their stock muffler and roll around with an exhaust that dumps under the cab. Just don't be that guy. Please. For the love of God. For the love of God! Outside of your basic bolt-ons though, this is where things start to get really fun. One of your best ways to add power for your LS engine is by dropping a thick boy cam in there. And we're talking like thick with three C's, like Damn boy, he's thick! A camshaft, referred to as a cam for short, it's gonna be a long rod looking metal thing that has these little bumpy doodads on it that seem to be random to the untrained eye. Now, as this shaft is gonna rotate in your engine, these little bump things, known as cam lobes, rotate as well, and in the case of a 5.3, they're gonna push your push rods up or let them drop, effectively opening and closing the valves on your cylinder head. Now, most factory cams are designed to be easily drivable, making the power band nice and smooth and easy like Sunday morning. While this is cool for grandpa who wants to take his wife to church on Sunday, it's less than stellar if you're looking for more power from the factory, as your factory cam is actually gonna sacrifice power for that drivability. Swapping cams out can net you a bunch of extra horsepower, plus it's gonna give you that wicked chop chop that we all know and love from the LS platform. It's not all rainbows and unicorns though when it comes to camshafts as too big of a cam can actually negatively impact the drivability of your truck, meaning that the truck isn't gonna wanna stay running at stoplights and you know, on cold starts, it's gonna sound like it wants to die. Okay. There are tons and tons of online resources available though, so you know, if a cam is in your future, then we recommend doing your research and really making sure that you're getting exactly what you're looking for out of your cam. Another easy and often overlooked part when it comes to performance is a good set of headers. Now, I know we talked about exhaust earlier, but many of the exhaust kits available for today, many of the exhaust kits available for today, that didn't make any sense. I'm gonna need you to scroll me back. Many of the exhaust kits available today for the 5.3 Silverados and Sierras are going to be only from the cap back, meaning that they're going to leave your factory exhaust manifolds untouched. A simple way to pick up a few extra horsepower is to pick up a shiny set of tubes to replace those old rusty cast iron exhaust manifolds. 
So what's the difference between an exhaust manifold and a header? Glad you asked. By all accounts, right, by, by all measures, exhaust manifolds and headers serve primarily the same purpose. They bolt onto the exhaust ports of the engine and funnel hot exhaust gases out of the engine and into the exhaust system where they're carried to the tail of the vehicle and then, you know, dumped out the side. With that being said though, one of the biggest differences between an exhaust manifold and a set of headers is the material they're made of. Most factory exhaust manifolds are made from cast iron, which is, you know, heavy and it retains a lot of heat. Headers are most often made of thinner tubing than manifolds, helping keep less heat in them. Additionally, headers are also made from primary tubes that are all the same length. All of this, right, is gonna add up to equal more power, but it also means that your truck is gonna sound even better than it did with just a standard exhaust system on it. And of course, how could we talk about adding power to your truck without talking about the one and only forced induction? Now, ever since I was a kid, the name of the game when it came to building a 5.3 liter LS engine has been forced induction. Regardless if that's a single turbo, a twin turbo, or a supercharger, the fact of the matter is that this LS beauty just plain takes boost so well, and it's been proven hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times over and over again in all sorts of YouTube videos. From the mild to the wild, we've seen turbo builds that continue to impress us every single step of the way. There's just nothing quite like the scream of a turbo LS engine or better yet, the low whine of a supercharger when you're shredding tires in a Cat Eye Silverado. It's just so good. Bonus round. Now, come on, guys. You really thought we were going to talk about adding horsepower and not talk about the old bottle throttle? How could you forget the happy gas? Like, you just can't do it. The one that captivated so many of us when it torched a Mitsubishi Eclipse after being shot up by Johnny Tran and his crew in the first Fast and the Furious movie. Fact of the matter is that if you want to make power on a budget, there are few ways that are going to bring you more power cheaper than nitrous oxide. There really aren't any other mods out there that are going to give you the same performance as a spray kit. Companies like Nitrous Express are making bolt-on kits for your truck for as little as $500 to $1,000, and they're going to net you sometimes north of 100 plus horsepower. That's a lot of ponies for only a little bit of money. Now with that being said though, there's a few things that you might want to keep in mind when it comes to nitrous, including the biggest one that is, you know, if you're not careful, you can end up causing some real damage to your engine. And we're not just talking like melting wires here or dropping the floor pan off your Eclipse. We're talking like window the block type, you know, damage, like melt the piston type damage, you know, like the catastrophic stuff. Now we could go on forever, but the thing to remember here is that do your homework before you dance with the old happy gas, right? Just, just do that. There you have it guys, the best performance mods for your 5.3 liter truck. Do you have an engine build done to your truck? Sound off in the comments section below and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. With that, I'm Dustin with Custom Offsets. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Woo! You did. Ah!